Okay, Eric, are you gonna teach us how to draw? Yes. I'm not in the mood for drawing. I wanna play more Among Us. Let's draw some Among Us, guys. <laughs> Me too. All Let's right. draw Among Us. In in process of teaching you how to draw, I will mix the elements of geography, Among Us, and also teaching you how to draw. So um. <laughs> That way, we can actually get the most out of this lesson, which is what people- Some teachers don't do, you know? Some teachers, they just, like, teach you what they want to teach, but, you know, like, I, I believe that if your students want to play Among Us, then why don't you put Among Us in the thing that you're teaching? Alright, let's- Alright. Let's play <laughs> some Among Us on- on Procreate. So, in- in order to teach you how to draw, you need one- something, you know? And I'm gonna teach you how to draw on Procreate, alright? So, uh, Procreate is a drawing program that I like to use to draw maps and geography. Eric, maps. what if everybody doesn't have Procreate? Then you can just follow along on paper. On yeah, board. me too, Enid. I already know how to. Easy. Put your pen on the iPad and make it show. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't think it's your time to bully me, but sure. All right. I am sharing my screen now. As you can see here, we have... Procreate. <laughs> we have Zoom up, and today I will teach you how to draw on Procreate. Give me a second. This is Procreate, and now we have an empty new canvas. So on Procreate, today we will start drawing some Among Us. All right, let's reenact the scene of last time. What we have done in Among Us. So, if you want to draw Among Us, this is how you draw in Among Us. Guys, let's follow along. You have to follow along. Yeah. So, in order to draw, draw what we have drawn in Among Us last time, we have to start with the first panel. I know my drawing isn't usually good because I don't usually draw Among Us, but here we go. Just hold down the pen to make straight line if you're on Procreate, or just use a ruler if you're in real life. Like, if you don't have a ruler, just attempt to draw a straight line as best as you can. I might not be teaching the correct thing, but hey, we're having fun, and that's, I, I guess that's all that matters. Alright, we have a panel now. And, to, and this is where we draw Among Us, alright? This is canonically what happened in the past 10 minutes. <laughs> you're at the meeting table. Someone, uh, I think, I think, let, let's, let's see, I'm the guy who died, okay? I am the guy who died, this is me. Because I wasn't in the game, so this is, this is me, yes. Wow, that's actually a really good drawing. Okay, Eric, how about you stop there and let everybody copy your drawing? Alright. In order to draw the dead body, that's how you draw it. It's, this is up close. Eric, we also need the full picture. As you can see, there's nothing interesting, so, obviously... In order to copy this, you have to, that, that's how you do it. It is not hard, it's not drawing anime faces, no, it is just drawing in the manga's dead body. It's the first baby steps of drawing. Is everybody, is, is everybody, uh, done? No. No. See, oh, I told you, Eric. Yes. Okay, now I'm done. Now we're all done? No. No, let's wait a little bit more. I am done. Same. Alright. So that is uh, your basic Among Us. Now, I w I'm supposed to be drawing the history of France. So obviously, let's draw the history of France in Among Us. So, what? this, okay, first of all, we have the French Revolution, right? The French Revolution is basically a game of Among Us. It, it, the, 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 there's the royals, right? The, the royal people, they have, they, they, they were really sus because they were exploiting the workers for their money. They were exploiting the peoples, and then they were really sus. And the people say that no, they're sus. So they should vote out Luke, King Louis the Sixteenth because he didn't, they didn't like his system. So in order for the Among Us to prevail in the French Revolution, they had to vote out King Louis the Sixteenth, and this is how it went. In France, they used an execution device called the guillotine, and not ejecting people into space so this is this is how you would draw the history of france you draw a basic among us like this and now you draw multiple of these it's simple how you draw an among us is first just draw an oval 
so I can go down and then draw like an end like this. These are the legs. And I connect these up here and I draw a backpack simpler than this. It's simpler than drawing an anime face. Now you draw multiple among um guy. And they're all chanting about the French Revolution. <laughs> now if you want to draw expressions on the Among Us, you have to make them mad. This is how you make them mad. We'll say one is carrying the torch of the French Revolution. Now you don't have to copy what I'm doing. Draw whatever you want, but this is getting the gist of the French Revolution using the teachings of Among Us. And now here's the key. guys because I'm the host of this thing thing thing. I will um I will share my drawing at the end. Just draw simply another dead body. This is oh obviously King Louis the Sixteenth. Why is the Among Us a pill? I thought they were supposed to have legs. This is the French Revolution in Among Us. Alright? This is the first step of the French Revolution. They executed the monarch because they want to overthrow the hierarchy and establish a new freedom in uh, France. So this is French Revolution. As you can see, it's very related to Among Us, because they were ejecting the monarch, which is just similar to the system of the imposter and ejecting the imposter in real Among Us. I'll give you a few, like, a f two minutes to copy this down, and we'll move on to the next one, which is about Napoleon. Oh my goodness, the short guy. Yeah, he's kind of short, you know, he's shorter than me, he's not even average height, and, and I'm- and I'm. Wait, how tall was he, like, four foot? Uh, shorter than you, I think. Anybody, if you're done, just tell me, and I'll, and I, and I'll. Uh, okay, and I'll I'm done. Out. I'm done. I'm done. Done. Is everybody finished, or does anyone want to stay? All right, just no. The, the some people are still almost done. All right, since I might have to move on. But I'll keep this on the screen, just so you guys can still copy this, the first panel. Sounds good, right? Yes, okay. You guys can still copy the first panel, I kept it on screen. But I'm gonna use this, draw a next panel right next to it now. Alright, the second panel is about Napoleon Bonaparte. In Among Us? We can draw this in Among Us, right? Uh, Napoleon Bonaparte is a, not a dictator, he's more like the Emperor of France. He was the, he was regarded as a military genius, because his tactics used in war were completely outrageous at the time because they, they were so good so this is napoleon bonaparte and his war tactics and how he led france to become the greatest nation in europe so great that the entirety of europe had to alliance against him this is napoleon bonaparte represented in among us by the way napoleon was like three foot tall if you see if you see enos valet yeah he's shorter than that what? How? Are you sure that he's shorter, shorter than my foot? Yes. Let me, let me, it may be an exaggeration, but guys, trust me, he's totally that short, okay? Guys, Eric is very sus. Alright. I assume everyone's done with the first image because it's been a while, so let me start on the second image. How you draw Napoleon is that you have to draw the web round. Now the important French symbol is this. It's an oval. Oh no, nope, never mind. It's not an oval. That's the important French symbol. You can see on That's the next a stick man. I don't know how to draw it because I'm not French and the French stole my wallet, so I I can't forgive them. So I may be, I may be drawing it wrong. Well, oh, Eric, your mom told me about this story when you when when the French stole your stuff. Yes, this is why I have a grudge. <laughs> this is Napoleon. Yes, he got pickpotted 
he got pickpocketed when he was in France. Yeah, true story. I will never forget that. Yeah. <laughs> it was very sad for him. Bro, that is not Napoleon. But it's in Among Us. I do not know how I killed Napoleon. Who said he least... was a pony? Who, who was? Who said he was? Who, who said he was Napoleon? Not Napoleon. Napoleon. You want Napoleon? Okay. That's Napoleon in Among Us because everyone loves Guys, Among Us. Eric, Eric is going to rant a lot about the French because they stole his stuff. Yeah, I agree. But Napoleon was coronated by the Pope. So this is his crown and this is the Pope. But, and, oh, don't forget the Pope is much taller than him. Like everyone else. <laughs> the Pope is wearing a hat like this. Oh my Guys, goodness, the Pope is serving him. He is. It took about two hours long, and there was a lot of people at it. So let's draw the other Amol guy. The Amol guy! Making everyone look tall just because to make Napoleon look short. Of course, because it's facts, guys. We would never teach you fake stuff. No, like, I'm serious. That is Napoleon's coronation. This is roughly the history of France. Now, to make the rest of this comic, you need to know more about French history. But after Napoleon, he, he, he kind of, you know, he kind of screwed up going to Russia. And, you know, he kind of got, like, kicked out because his people didn't want him and he kind of died on St. Elba. So, but yeah. after that, the, after Napoleon era, Fran France fell back into, you know, a state of Napoleon III and whatever. But, since we don't have enough time, we're only going to go through much important parts of French history. And that starts with World War One. That's oh. way after Napoleon, but it's still very important. If you're not done, you can just copy this. This is World War One. France saw the pivotal role in World War One because, well, they were one of the main nations that declared war because Serbia, Austria, Hungary, blah blah blah, and Russia was the best friend. Oh, we had to protect Russia. That's something that France would never say nowadays, but they were allies back then. So now we're gonna draw France in World War One. You have Germany and France again pitched up against each other. So this is Germany. Be careful when drawing a German helmet because they 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 have the pickle house helmet, which is basically a single spike helmet, and it's pretty iconic in history. So this is what they would look like. That that's good enough. That's good enough of a helmet. It should be simple. It's not as good as it's not as complex as drawing anime, but this is a drawing lesson for kids. So, yes. Obviously, to make Germany look really angry, you have to draw the eyebrow visor for the Among Us, and also draw the... Among Us don't have eyebrows. That is so true. The German Among Us. And since they were at a time where um, tanks and guns were actually invented, you know, I, I, I was too, like, I was too, like, uh, it was too kid-unfriendly to show a dead body earlier today, but it's not too un kid too unfriendly to show a tank, so I'm gonna draw a tank, because they, they, those were actual historical things. Okay. Guys, see that's Eric. He may be like the number one ge geography person, but his logic is um very Eric style. That is a tank. It's not the most tanky tank, but at least it's a German one. And th those, that was a show that they were invented during the time of World War One, and now I'll draw a German flag. And now they cancel for drawing it, so I'm just gonna draw three stripes. Okay, do not cancel me. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you draw the Nazi one? No, that's that's. Why don't you draw the Nazi one? Okay. No, no, I'm not drawing the Nazi See, one. See, that's why I don't want to draw it. No, no, I'm gonna French. get cancelled for this. The French are weak people. They like to surrender a lot. They like to steal my wallet a lot as well. <laughs> Therefore, we'll draw them surrendering right here. Oh Maybe an exaggeration that French actually surrendered, but in here, because it's a kid's lesson and we want to be funny, the French actually surrendered, and also they took my wallet. <laughs> See, guys, I'm correct. He loves ranting about people. <laughs> 
Actually, no, that's a white flag. That's a flag for surrender. And now, that is World War One. And then the French flag is just on the ground, torn apart. I. Uh. World War One. Even though the French won, though. <laughs> that, that is roughly what World War One looks like. And it brought, you know, some trees in the background. Yes. And the trees are supposed to be. Comes the Treaty Bye. of Versailles. And the Treaty of Versailles was France basically taking revenge on Germany for what they did. And Germany, well, it was deserved because I don't like Germany either. Because they're, 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 they're kind of boring. But, like, Fr- France, you, the, France, you know, they wanted to take revenge on Germany. And they cut a lot of Germany's land. So, here I'm going to draw a map of the Treaty of Versailles. This is Germany before. And this is Germany after. So Germany before, they had a lot of land, including Schleswig-Holstein, and also Alsace-Lorraine, which is now part of France. And also, all the way east to, um, I think, uh, Kaliningrad, which is today, uh, I forgot the name. Uh, I mean, it's Russian now. But this is Germany before, and then after they lost a lot of territory, namely these territories were lost. So what Germany lost was these territories. One right here, the Danzig Corridor. They kept East Prussia, which is also Kaliningrad. But then they also lost Polsen to Poland. And also some land near Krakow, Krakow. And yes, right here, they lost this Poland. They lost some Denmark land as well. And also, they lost Alsace-Lorraine to France. And they also had to cut their military, so they have no more money. Before they had a lot of money. I the downfall of Germany. That is the downfall of Germany in the Treaty of Versailles. And that is part of the history of France, because France gained this part of land, which they do not like and should be returned to Germany. I'm just kidding, no. I think they should be, belong to the United the glorious United States of America. I think it's the, all Europe should belong to the glorious United States of America, personally. All right. And now, finally, Eric, you, know, you are terribly biased. I think you're biased against the United States of America. All right. And finally, we have the most excruciatingly painful moment in French history, World War II. And I'm going to get canceled for drawing anything about World War II, so... What, what am I supposed to do here? Talk about it. There's yeah. one very important aspect that um, even I know, and I am, and I like know nothing about history, so you have to I mention know. that. World War Two, yes. Uh, the the mustache guy. <laughs> that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. The guy with a mustache, and he. He's kind of like, you know, kind of evil, you know, he kind of hates Jewish people, and I, I don't want to talk about him. And the only reason he became evil was or because, because um, he got rejected from art school. Yes. He got rejected from art school and also by the girls at the party, so he has no reason. Hashtag Enid is going to get goofed. Um, she sent a chat to everybody. Uh, she's going to get kind of cancelled. Yeah, Zoom will not allow you back in anymore. <laughs> yeah, another rallet. Okay. Uh, let me talk about World War Two right here because we don't have enough time to draw it. World War Two was a pivotal moment in French history. The no no mustache guy. He kind of divided France with the Vichy France and the actual, and he kind of just took the rest of France under Germany. And he did not. It, it it didn't go so well. You know, he kind of wanted to liberate Germany from the Treaty of Versailles and. France kind of got destroyed and cut in half, and the people got kind of oppressed, and they didn't like it, so obviously France got revolted. Uh, okay, I, yeah, I could, I could send a drawing in the chat. I'll send a drawing later to every one of you guys by email to your parents, to my parents, who, which, and when I send an email to my parents about this drawing, they will send a drawing to your parents, because I'm too lazy to handle things. All right, so that was World War Two. The Germans want to take revenge, but the, and they actually almost won, but thankfully, they did not win. And France took everything back from Germany, including Saarland, but then they returned it. And after that, they 
form the European Union and everything is happy and the end. And that is where we land at today. And I still hate the French. Because he picked up because they picked part of you and then you had to spend the day homeless on the streets because you had no money. And that is the history of France. Does anybody have any questions? Does anyone want to show their store uh, their their drawings? Okay, did anybody actually draw the drawings? People actually drew. I'm not, I, I, I'm not kidding. They actually drew something. So okay. hold it up to the screen. I'll rate one of your drawings. That's good. Here, I'll show. I'll I'll show you my drawings. Like, yeah, but um. It's okay no, because you only drew one. Like I, I do not expect you to draw all of this. Wow. This is very good. Ian. I drew everything. That is very. That is very accurate to what I drew. Well. All right. But yeah, Emma. That is also very accurate to what I drew, and you also covered the table and that. Is it probably very short? You know. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Yeah. And uh, let's go on down. I made Napoleon a little too fat. He's he's almost as fat as. Hold you up to the camera. Remember when you guys were done? Yes, I'll 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 see your drawings. Eric, rate mine out of ten. Uh, seven. 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 It's decent. You're so mean. Well, seven's good. It's not. It's not. It's that seven, that average. deserves at least an eleven. What you like seven eleven? Okay. Uh, yeah, I can see other people are finishing up the drawings. Good. Guys, Eric is doing sus tasks again. You can hear that. I was just about to ask oh, what up. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate. Maybe you erase on your drawings. I feel bad for you. Um, yeah, it's fine. Um, you want to show the drawings, show off to the board, and I think that's good. Just numero, just repeat after me. For our final word today, repeat after me. Numero microscopic silico volcano kenosis. And we repeat after me. Newman Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Kenosis. Newman Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Kenosis. Newman Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Something, something, something. Skibbity Toilet. What? Yeah. Sarcasm. Newman Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Kenosis. Yes. Y'all in the Toilet. You want I'm ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis. This is what you can learn instead of skibbity toilet. Hi. Guys. <laughs> Alright. And that basically sums it up for today. So um thank you for attending my lesson. I hope you like the Among Us references. I hope you like new ultra microscopic silico volcano kenosis. I hope, I hope you, you like, like anti stockman I hope you. I hope you don't like skibbity toilet. I hope you like anti establishment terrorism, and I hope <laughs> you took away something from this lesson. And I hope. Something I, hope I hope you like the French, and I hope that they steal Eric's pocket money again. <laughs> and I hope you find. I, I just hope you guys learned something. So. Good night. Guys, raise, guys, raise your hand if you learned anything today. Okay, that's good. At least a couple people did. I don't think anybody learned anything, not even I did. Yeah. I certainly did anything. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Guys, 